So first we'll just pull the old hard disk out. So in the PS4 Pro, the uh, the hard disk slot is right at the back. So you just need to pull this piece right here. First I'll uh, peel the sticker. And then I'll try pulling this thing. Okay, so we have this uh, star screw here, so we just need to remove the screw and the hard disk will come out. Okay, so there it comes off and we'll just pull this. and the hard disk neatly slides off so now all we need to do is remove these four screws and this easily comes off it's a 5400 rpm it's 100 milliampere 5 volts and uh, yeah, that's one TV written. So I'll just swap this with uh, the two TV hard drive which I have. So I was having this, uh, I bought this Seagate um, Backup Plus portable drive, two TV on uh, Amazon I believe for around uh, six, seven thousand and I was using the same drive with uh, my regular PS4. So we just need to pry open the case, the hard disk case and it's it won't be like really easy, you just uh, you have to apply a little bit force to pry the box open and then be careful not to scratch the hard disk itself, so it will be covered in this uh, aluminium foil, just uh, remove this thing and then you'll have this connector on top so you can just pull this off and it's basically the same hard disk so if you compare it has the same pins and the same size so now all we need to do is we need to just put this in this case and then Put these four screws on. Okay, so the hard disk is snugly fit, and we just need to slide this thing inside the PS4 Pro. Oh, sorry. This is the right way in and that's it you just have to put the screw back on and it's all done so after Putting your hard disk into the PS4, you just need to download the new firmware for your uh, PlayStation. So just type in PS4 Pro firmware download in Google and uh, click on the first link and you'll be greeted by this page. So 
so you can see the big um, blue download upload update button here but you shouldn't download this one you need to click on this link here do you want to perform a fresh install of the full system software so that's what we are going to do so click on this link and you will come here and then you scroll down and you will see that this is approximately 900 MB and that's what we need so click on this download now so it will start downloading the file so after downloading the file the ps4 update dot pup which is around 850 MB you need to um, stick in a pen drive which is more than uh, 2, 2 GB and then just make a new folder the name should be ps4 and inside that folder make one more folder and the name should be update without any spaces and uh, capital letters use capital letters and inside the update folder just copy and paste the, the downloaded file so it's uh, around 870 MB in my case now all you need to do is put the pen drive in your PS4 Pro and then just switch it on after switching it on you have to wait for around um, 30 seconds I have already uh, connected my DualShock 4 uh, using the USB and it says that uh, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and press the PS button so, so I'm just pressing the PS button and here it says that you need to put, on, put in a USB drive with the latest firmware and then click on OK so OK and now it says that the PS4 will be initialized all user data will be deleted do you want to continue and of course you want to do that so select yes and click the X button And now we are greeted with this screen to just connect your PS4 with the cable and then press the PS button. Uh, so we actually need to put the wire in the first slot. So we are in the system storage management and there it shows 1.77 TB. So that's basically 2 TB and uh, the remaining uh, space is like used by the operating system and other things. So that's it guys and thank you for watching and that's how you upgrade a PS4 Pro to 2 TB. See you.